Hey guys, Matt here from Alpha Project, and the purpose of today's video is to go over uh, what I went over in a workshop recently on December 9th um, about being able to transition into a zero drop shoe. So uh, what I went over is uh, some ankle mobility and some hip mobility that will assist you if you're trying to make that transition. So. Um, for those of you who went to the workshop, we're going to go over those exercises and those mobility drills. And for those of you who didn't go to it, uh, I'm excited for you to watch the video because you're going to learn a whole lot. Uh, and these are techniques you can implement immediately, immediately, right at home. That's really going to help you. So uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to use a, an assistant pull-up band or a monster band. And we're going to get as much resistance on this guy as we can. And the goal is I'm going to have the band above my ankle bones behind my Achilles here. And I'm going to drive my knee forward, coming off, drive it forward, drive, 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 coming right off, drive it forward, drive, 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 drive it right off. And we're trying to get that knee as far forward as we can without letting it, so don't let it cave in like that. I'd actually prefer if you were to kind of kick it out to the side, if you were to kick it out towards your pinky toe, but keeping your foot flat on the ground. So a great one to improve ankle mobility. Come on out this way, hold a second, come back. That's a great one um, to improve your ankle dorsiflexion so you have the proper uh, range of motion when you try and transition into a zero drop shoe. All right, that's number one. Do that one, to, uh, do that one for two minutes a day, uh, every day. You're gonna see a lot of improvements. The next one, this is a great one uh, for working out the bottom of the foot, the sole of the foot. So this is gonna stretch out the plantar fascia and all the intrinsic foot muscles that are in this area. So. What we're gonna do, this position I'm in right now of, hey, I'm gonna sit right on my heels with my toes extended, and for two minutes, I can hang out here, or I can move around, right? I can drop it to the side, drop it to my heels, drop them in, and then I can kind of push this way, push up, trying to find, hey, where am I most tight? Where am I most tender uh, in this area? And once you find it, I'm definitely a little tight here, hang out there for, I don't know, a minute, in 30 seconds, hang out however, you, however long you'd like, and then you can move on to another spot. So, and you can do a contract and relax too. So I'm here and hold, 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 hold the cow, super tender, come right off. A great one to do. Uh, two minutes, guys. Again, you're going to have dramatic improvements in your motion. Uh, the third one is the opposite of this guy. So we're here, and now, bam, flex our toes, flex our foot this way. So like you're swimming or you're pushing the gas pedal, you're going to sit right on your heels here. And as we sit, I want to kick our heels out to the side. Uh, and when we do this, it opens it up so we can get a much better stretch of the ankle joint and of all the, the front. I feel it more in my joint, but some people, some of you may feel like, hey, I feel it way all the way in the front of my shin here, Matt. And that's fine. So we're going we're gonna to start here. If you can handle this, that's great. We're going to back up this way a little bit if you can handle it. Uh, if you can handle this, that's also great. Now we're going to drive that knee up this way. And wherever you are, right, if you're here, if you're here, if you're back here, you can do a contract relax of, hey, let me scoot forward a little bit. We're here and I'm gonna drive my foot this way. So I'm pushing my foot into the ground and, and holding that for a count of four. So two, three, four, holy cow, this is tight. And two, three, four, doing that for about a minute. And then you can statically hold it for a minute or do another set of those for a minute. Again, each of these guys do it for two minutes. Uh, uh, at least once a day when you're home, you're gonna see those improvements. Uh, the last one is a hip mobility uh, uh, drill or exercise, and we're gonna use that pull-up band again. We're gonna use that monster band. And it's gonna go around, we're gonna put our foot, our foot through it, we're gonna put our knee through it, and we're, it's gonna go right in our groin here, so right high up on the thigh, and we're gonna get as much, I'm gonna whack my head here, get as much resistance on the band as we can and as you saw, I got my head close to the wall here, so I'm pulling as far as I can, I'm pulling as much as I can on this band to get as much resistance as I possibly can. And the goal is, a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna drive my knee up, I'm gonna hold on to it, and I'm just driving it up this way using my hands. So with my hands, my arms are doing, my shoulders and arms are doing all the work here, and I'm just driving my knee up towards my shoulder, back off, I'm doing these for about a minute, just hold one second, and then, once you're good at that, you can drive your knee across towards the other shoulder, opening that guy up. So each of these for a minute, this way, and then this way. Again, holding just for one, two, back right off. These are great mobilizations to loosen up that hip. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, so these are great for 
Again, trying to get into an, a shoe like an Ultra, a zero drop shoe, uh, these mobilizations are really gonna help with the ankle. Guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.